So I'm out here at a job today at Annandale for an II net customer. Um, basically, she's been having um, issues on the line since December. She gets constant dropouts. II net sent out um, twelve, I mean seven technicians to date, um, and they basically are saying that they can't work out what the problem is, and so they want to cancel the contract um, due to them not being able to find the fault. So basically they've sent us out today to try and work out what is going on. So I'm at the customer's, well, looks like it's supposed to be an MDF, but it's, there's nothing there. It's just a lead-in cable coming in from the street, and you can see the internal cables going down. Um, I've got the VDSL tester here. Now it tests fine. Um, we're getting about nine megabits a second, and then 800 uh, kilobits upload if I just go down but you might see it's just dropping out again see the sync light so it constantly is dropping out so it'll drop out and then it'll reconnect and it'll drop out again so watch this will probably reconnect again in a second so that light blinking that's the sync light so once that syncs then means it's talking to the exchange it's connected with the exchange and then you watch all the data will come back once it connects and then it will drop out again so this is so now it's reconnected our data's repopulated. So that's our speed there. Now if I just hang on to this here for just a little bit longer, it'll drop out again. See, there it goes again. So it's dropped out again. So this is directly on the Telstra leading cable here, as you can see. Now there was a card there saying that everything was okay to that point. Well, I've just proved that that's not the case, um, as you can see. Now, also here, I've got a lines test set number two connected up to the customer's internal cables um, going back into the socket. Now, the customer's apartment, this is the, above the door at the front, the customer's apartment's right here. So basically, it's just a, a two-pair cable just coming in, and then the socket's just there. So there's no real length on that, so it's... That's testing fine, so as you can see on the lines test set, um, I'm gonna put it into mega ohms. Between A and B, insulation resistance is fine. There's no fluctuations in that. Um, so this is definitely 100% a network issue. So IINet, this is not a customer issue. This has been going on since December. Um, seven techs is outrageous. You're gonna to need to get someone to repair this for this customer, it shouldn't be that hard. It's probably just a new pair, you know, just all the way back to the exchange or something like that, and it's gonna sort this customer out if they can't locate it themselves. So that's it, um, eye on it, this is back to you, bye.